In this video, I will show you how to make a calendar in Excel that is simple, easy to read, and is great for use in PowerPoints for timelines. First, we need to make all of these columns and rows equal size. So we'll right click them and set column width to five. Then we'll go down on the rows and make this 25. The rows and columns are different units, so that's why um, they are different, but then they end up being the same size. So we'll start with assuming Sunday is um, here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's say the month currently starts on a Thursday. So we'll put one, two, three. Then if we do four and five, we can highlight the two and drag it all the way and it will continue the numbering. Same with going down. You can go downwards. 30, there are. 31 days in this month. This will be 11, 12. We'll go down, go down, down, and down. I like to remove the days of the week. And then for coloring, Let's say this box, we're starting a project on the first, so I'll color this green and also color this box green too for later use. And then let's say the the project takes this long, two weeks. This will be for testing and then an end date, completion date, there. So I want to save all the colors that I used over here. So now I can copy this, control C, go to my PowerPoint timeline. Right click, I'm going to embed the image. Let's delete that. You can make it bigger. And then I'll come back, copy each of these individually, and embed them as well. Here's that one. So you can line all of these up using format and align, align in the center. Let's move this over here. Now we'll add in a text box and say November, place it over the box and then say start date. in progress testing complete. There you have a simple calendar timeline.